Let's take a look at how we can enter and explore data using the TI Inspire. So notice I've already opened a list and spreadsheet page and I've renamed column A to be time and I'm going to rename column B to be height and I'm going to enter some data in for height. Let me define height as being the square of the time. And then let me enter distance. I'll enter some values for distance. And let's see what this data looks like on a new page. So I'm going to enter a new page and I'm going to make that a data and statistics page. So let's first look at what the time and our height look like. Now remember when I entered that data in, the height was equal to time squared. So if I move any of these points, it's still going to move along that relationship so that the y value height is equal to the time value squared. And notice that since I've moved that point, the value has also changed in the spreadsheet page. Well, let's see how these points are related. So we know that already that they're related by using a quadratic relationship, but let's see how this works. So we're going to run a regression and we're going to do the quadratic regression for this data. So it gives me the equation as y is equal to 1 times x squared plus this part 7e to the minus 13, this is 0, and then negative 4 times e to the minus 13 is also 0. So what we have here is y is equal to x squared, which we should expect because that's what we had originally entered. So I can change the line color and make it any color here, maybe red is a good color. And then I can also look at how does time relate to distance. So instead of height now, I'm going to change this to distance. And notice the values of my data have also changed. So too has my regression line. I don't want to see that line anymore. So I'm going to ask to hide the quadratic regression. Now, I might want to look at if there's a relationship between time and distance. And maybe I'll go analyze. And I'm going to add a movable line. And that line, I can add as a best fit and try and get it so that it's a best fit line for this data. And notice that as I move that line, both the slope and the y-intercept can change. And if I move points, again like I had in my previous example, the value has also changed on my table. So you can try this for free if you go to education.ti.com and download a free trial of the TI Inspire software.